I remember the first time I climbed the Williamsburg Bridge was probably the first time I felt alive or felt anything for that matter in probably a year. I wanted to see the unseen. I wanted to jump into active tracks and I wanted to walk and I wanted to see things that are completely forgotten. Things that they don't want us to know exist. We were kind of technically breaking the rules, but you know, we weren't doing it in a way, you know, of us being devious, so you know, we weren't hurting anyone. The fact that I saw it as an artistic way to express myself as a person, you know, I, I just kind of got into it and I just like, I just took it from there. It became an absolute addiction and I, I can't stop, I won't stop, it's, it's something I live for. I do it solely for the experience. You know, I don't do it for Instagram followers or anything like that, you know, I've been doing it way before that. It makes you feel small in a way, like when you're on top of a bridge like, and you're looking down at the city, you just feel, it really puts your life into perspective. I don't think there could ever be a limit because, yeah, there could be a limit in New York. You could hit every, you know, abandoned spot, every rooftop, every bridge in New York, but there's, there's these kind of spots all around the world. I went through a long stint of depression. I was even suicidal for a while, so it's kind of ironic in a way that I decided to climb bridges and go on top of buildings, because that's almost the way I decided to end my life. In a city where you feel like you own nothing for a while, this was my way of like making something mine. Urban exploring, you see the gritty, the unseen of New York. Honestly, I don't worry about death. I probably worry about getting caught more often. The fear of staring death in the face and, 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 and having the ability to conquer death is, is something that a lot of people think is insane, but to me it's a life worth living. Uh -huh.